What's up guys, today I'm going to be revisiting the Galaxy A34. This is a phone that I actually really liked for anyone who does not like, uh, you know, the old flagships that I recommend you want something like a budget phone or a mid-range phone or something like that. Uh, this is a pretty solid phone. This is one that I actually thought was really decent. And um, if you're going to pick this up, I would probably go on ebay for this one i mean always cross check you know ebay amazon swap or whatever um but yeah 200 bucks for this phone is a really good deal I, you know for an open box version or a refurbished very good version um yeah so i would spend you know around 200 bucks for this phone because you do have the galaxy a35 uh is out so you don't want to spend around like 300 bucks because you could just get the a35 so if you are thinking about picking this phone up try to aim for around that 200 dollar uh, price point for sure so let's go ahead and talk about the update so the update was smooth just the common questions is you know did you notice anything major with performance or anything like that and no everything is pretty smooth on this update it's been really good uh, for the most part animation wise battery life has pretty much been untouched as well too so the update and performance is pretty solid on this one ui 6.1 update of course you're not going to get any of the you know galaxy ai features or anything like that um uh, but yeah so the update is fine for the most part now the thing that made me a uh, kind of a fan of the a34 is that this was a really solid uh display here so it's a 6.6 .6 inch display it's a super amoled 120 hertz it gets a thousand nits brightness 1080p 390 for the ppi you can see it kind of has the the old school kind of water drop notch here and yeah the bezels are definitely a little bit on the thicker side of course for a budget phone you know you should expect that um but as far as like if we're just talking about the screen quality it's really good panel guys the colors are really nice and overall it's a very smooth panel for 120 hertz as well too and uh yeah so i don't have any issues now for the specs i don't see hdr 10 plus listed on here so that's one thing that you know of course you're going to be missing here but as far as the screen it's really nice completely flat panel and no issues i don't think anyone would be uh dissatisfied with the display on here like i said it's a solid display great colors uh, it does somewhat decent in max brightness as well too so if we're outdoors it's sunny it's it's okay it's not like you know the brightest display um but you can kind of see it so overall the display on here is fine i do really like the display like i said it's a big display as well too all right, so let's talk about the hardware a little bit here. So one thing that I've really liked about Samsung this year is that these Galaxy A series phones look really good. Uh, even the Galaxy like A25, you know, that phone looks really great. Uh, it's an all plastic phone. So yeah, it doesn't feel as premium as, of course, like a flagship phone, of course, but it's IP67, dust and water resistant, and everything is really solid. The buttons feel great. Uh, the overall camera layout, I mean, it looks, you know, like a standard Galaxy S24. You know, it's just a plastic phone. So I really like the design on here. You can see it kind of shifting colors as well, too, which is really cool. Um, the design on here is absolutely fine. Now, the reason why a lot of people like these Galaxy A series phones is because they do have SD card support. So this phone does have expandable storage, uh, which is really nice. It's a really nice hardware addition for those who are a big fan of the expandable storage. If you take a lot of videos, download a lot of content, you know, you can swap SD cards out and, you know, go on your way. So I think um, having the SD card on here is pretty nice. All right. So the actual chipset on the A34 is actually still a very good chipset. So we have the Dimensity 1080 chipset on here. We have also 128 gigs of internal storage and four gigs of RAM uh, on this phone as well. And gaming performance is pretty decent. Now, like I said, if you're someone who is trying to game on a uh, on a budget, I would definitely go with an old flagship. Now, you can see on here we get Smooth Extreme, HDR Ultra. Those are you know best settings here. And yeah, guys, if you want like 90 frames and stuff like that, I would go with an older flagship. Uh, but if you're a more casual gamer, the A34 does a pretty good job here, um, you know, just playing at these settings. Um, I'm not getting any type of overheating issues or anything like that. So I've been pretty satisfied with overall performance here. So if you want to get a couple matches in PUBG and Call of Duty or whatever, uh, it can do that. But things that are a little bit more intense, like... You know, maybe like Fortnite, Genshin, stuff like that. 
uh, then you definitely are going to want to get an older flagship if you, you know, play games, you know, a heavy gamer. Also, the speakers on the A34 are actually pretty good. So they sound pretty good, pretty good amount of bass and very clear uh, crisp speakers on here. So the Galaxy A34's cameras are still pretty good here in 2024. So you do have a 48 megapixel standard, 8 megapixel ultra wide, a 5 megapixel macro, and it shoots in 4K 30 with a 13 megapixel selfie that shoots in 4K 30 as well. You got your pro video and pro mode on here as well too. And uh, photos come out pretty good on the A34 you know if you're gonna judge it off this price point I think these are pretty solid shots here a lot of good detail on here sometimes it can struggle with white balance um, but colors and you know overall detail uh, is pretty good the main lens is pretty consistent with the uh, ultra wide as well too uh, video on here is just decent it's not anything too crazy um, but yeah, overall, like the actual steels are great uh, on this phone. Like I said, I think probably the most, the thing you'll notice when you see this phone is probably like the video and the low light uh, isn't all that great on these kind of budget phones. Uh, but anything in good lighting, you'll get a really nice crispy shot for sure. So I really think the cameras are pretty decent for anyone who just wants to take a you know, point and click steel. This is another area where the A34 pretty much shines here. It does have a 5,000 milliamp hour battery with 25 watt charging. The battery life is really good on this phone. Standby time is really good uh, on here as well too. So this is easily a phone that you could use all day and I have no issues with battery life on here. You easily can get a full day's battery life with this phone. So that's one of the, I think the highlights with this phone. So overall the A34, it's a very good phone still for anyone who doesn't like older flagships and you want something you know new um, and you want something that's going to get updates as well too uh, then the A34 is a pretty solid device so let me know what you guys think and I'll catch you guys in the next one